Professor Clemens with you as we consider the uh, results for uh, putting in voltage on a transformer. This relates to OpenStax Physics Chapter 23. We're going to construct this transformer with 200, 200 turns of wire in the primary coil, 10 turns of wire in the secondary coil. We want to calculate the voltage across the secondary coil for three different situations. So first I make a little sketch of the iron yoke that uh, is going to allow magnetic field to be concentrated towards the secondary coil, magnetic field created by the primary coil. Primary coil, I'm just showing more turns schematically here, a few turns on the secondary because we have 200 turns of wire on the primary coil and we have 10 turns of wire on the secondary coil. So our first uh, situation is that we're putting in 120 volts AC on the primary coil. So 120 volts AC into primary. Alternating current, the current switches direction and the current is not constant. It's continuously varying. That's going to generate a changing magnetic field in the iron. The iron is going to route most of that magnetic field over to the secondary coil and we'll have a changing magnetic field through the secondary coil. That's going to produce a change of flux in this coil and there'll be an induced EMF and a current on the secondary coil. We're interested in the EMF. What's the voltage across the uh, ends of the secondary connection here? Well, 120 volts in. We know that transformers can be um, evaluated for the voltage, the EMF on the secondary side, by starting with voltage in the primary and then multiplying by the ratio of the number of turns. The number of turns of wire in the secondary divided by the number of turns of wire in the primary. That provides us with the calculation. Well, this is pretty straightforward. So we have the voltage of the secondary. 120 volts is our AC voltage that's going in. The number of turns of wire on the secondary are 10. On the primary, 200. Pull out your calculator or do this in your head. Cancel a factor of 10 would be 1 over 20. 120 divided by 20 uh, goes in there six times. So we'd have 6 volts for the value. So if you've been following that uh, with just words, now follow it visually. Our voltage on the secondary is 120 volts of the primary. The ratio of the number of turns on the secondary divided by number of turns on the primary. Cancel to factor of 10. Have 120 divided by 20. 6 volts. So case B, 18 volts alternating current on the uh, on the primary. Now it's a similar calculation, just the numbers have changed slightly. Uh, the voltage across the secondary is going to be now 18 volts times 10 turns on the secondary, 200 turns on the primary. I have to do 18 divided by 20 and that produces 0 0.9 volts. Our last case, we're going to connect this transformer up to a battery, an 18 volt battery. So we have direct current going through. Well, the numbers haven't changed. Will we get 0.9 volts across the secondary coil? And the answer is no. Transformers only work with alternating current. There'll be no EMF on the secondary coil. This direct current causes a current through the primary coil, but it's a constant current. That constant current creates a constant magnetic field in the primary coil, which leads to a constant current in the secondary coil, which leads to a change of magnetic flux in the secondary coil of zero. And our EMF you know, is minus uh, N, change of magnetic flux over change of time. In the secondary coil, there is no change of magnetic flux when we're using direct current on the primary. Transformers are 
should only be used with the uh, alternating current as an input. That's the way they're designed to work. And that's the only time that you should use this equation. We must have AC voltage being applied to the primary. That's the end of our lesson for today on transformers.